will be supplied to local farmers in Kaduna. And of course, the hatchery is also expected to have the capacity to produce about 4 billion eggs and 100 million kilograms of poultry meat annually. And of course, that is also expected to generate about 600, uh, to employ about 600 workers directly and about 400,000 workers indirectly. facility has been commissioned by the president and uh, the event of course is still on Can I have a fuck? Mr. Helping to satisfy the demand from both farmers and consumers is Ola International, a global agribusiness that has been operating in Nigeria for nearly 30 years. Here in Kaduna State, Ola has established a state-of-the-art breeder farm at Hatchery, alongside the poultry feed bureau to cater to the growing needs of poultry farmers in northern Nigeria. They also have a poultry feed bureau at Kuala, meeting the demand of feed for the farms in southern Nigeria. Overall, these facilities have the potential to help farmers produce 8 billion eggs and 100 million kilograms of poultry meat for Nigerians every year. The equivalent of 40 eggs and half a kilogram of chicken per person. Well, you are watching the... Uh processes leading up to the commissioning of the Olam facility at the Olam Fed Mills Hatchery and Breeder Farm at kilometer 25 Kaduna Abuja Expressway in Kaduna State. Well, uh, it is the arrival of the president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, that's being awaited at the moment. Uh, the pictures you can see on your screens now indicate from the uh, helicopter 
the chopper there that the president has indeed arrived and he will be doing the honors commissioning uh, that very major facility that is supposed to uh, kind of ensure that there is enough in terms of uh, poultry products and uh, well birds and a contribution to Nigeria's agricultural development in terms of poultry production. And so uh, I understand that uh, the president is about to take his leave, having done the needful there. Well, it's the commissioning of the Olam facility in Kaduna, reaching you live on channels at television. And uh, well, uh, earlier on, the master of ceremonies had actually indicated that the ceremonies would have to wait a moment uh, pending the arrival of the um, governor of the state. We earlier on saw a procession of uh, vehicles there, but we are still trying to get information from our crew out there whether it was uh, the governor arriving or departing. But uh, as the case might be, we're still waiting to see the appearance of uh, the president from our camera range here, whether he will be departing to another location or he has actually done the commissioning and will be returning to Abuja. Those are some of the things uh, we need to establish uh, ahead of the formal commissioning of this uh, facility that is a major contributor to the agricultural development of Kaduna State in particular and Nigeria at large. And remember, it's coming to you live on channels television. national standards for health, safety, and quality. They are produced in state-of-the-art facilities using the latest technology. Olam uses heat-treated mash and pelleted feed to achieve a high level of microbial safety. commissioning ceremony. His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief, now returning to base, but having stepped into Kaduna State today, 
on his very first official assignment outside of the FCT.